So, like, before I start, like, uh, if you guys have questions during it, like, be, like uh, feel free to ask. It's just, I probably, I mean, there's a good chance that I just don't know the answer, because, you know, I'm learning this with you guys. So, like, uh, she's going to write it down, Lauren's going to write it down, and then we go home and, like, check it out. Okay? And answer it next time. So, let's start then. So, the topic of this lecture is, what is debate? Right? So, debate is the practice Ideas, right? So, practice comparing contrasting ideas. So, if it's that, then debate is not about making yourself look like an intellectual badass, right? Or, and it's not about like making another person look like an idiot, although it can happen. But, so it's, it's more about the ideas. Like, you have a topic, and that's the focus, and you're trying to discuss what's good about this, what's bad about this, because oftentimes, there's not a clear answer, right? Like, does God exist? You know, you can go on for like, you know, years or centuries. But um, yeah. So, practice of comparing contrasting ideas. And um, so I'm gonna draw a comparison to you know, like last year all this took a push. So uh, in U.S. history, we had new tribunals. Like, it was more like a discussion. Um, like it wasn't personal, it's like, I hate that guy's stance on civil war secular issues. Like it's just like you got a position, they got a position, and you got like logical reason why one position is better than the other position. Right? And the essence of Lincoln Douglas debate, which is the kind we're doing, is it's persuasive. So you can be as logical as you want, but like you actually still have to be persuasive. So like um, you know, I don't know if you guys remember, but I think but in tribunal a lot of the times, people would be really logical, but they'd be like so boring, and their speeches would be so bad that like you wouldn't remember what the hell they talked about. So you obviously vote for the other person who's like, oh, that person sounds like he knows what he's doing, you know. So what you want to work, what a main component of this, you know, like Lincoln Douglas debate style is being good at speaking and being clear and knowing how to phrase your things so that um, they resonate with the audience. All right. Um. So, keeping in mind that this is about like you know uh, comparing contrasting ideas, the main idea of Lincoln Douglas debate is that it's a search for truth. All right. So, what do I mean like search for truth? You know, keep in mind that's a lowercase t. Like there's you know absolute truth. So we're not going to find those. All right, in like a little debate, but. What happens, this kind of truth is relative to, you know, our intelligence at the time, what we've discussed and argued and our progressions to, you know, a certain point. So, that might be the truth at the time, but all of us know that our beliefs, you know, they change as we grow up. And let's say that, you know, your beliefs are concrete right now, it's irrational. So, um, alright. Um, so, um, I was going to say, like, look at your sheets, but you guys don't have them. So, um, what does debate not teach you? How to beat your parents in a quarrel? Because quarrels, quarrels are like yes, no, mom, yes, mom, no. Okay, like <laughs> that's a quarrel. Like there's no logical progression, there's no reasoning. It's just like like people yelling at each other. So maybe you can learn how to you know logically debate your parents, but I don't think they're going to be very fond of that. Um, also, this is not a tool of saying that you're always right, okay? Just because you're like smarter than the other guy doesn't mean that you're right, per se. You get that? Like, a lot of times when we think that we're like, you know, like, smarter than person, like, everything I think is correct, and this is the end. There's, there's no other, you know, debate after I've answered it, okay? So what you gotta realize is that, like, this is all you have to you have to realize that when you when you do debate, you're coming again to a lowercase truth, that it is the truth at the time, given the circumstances of you know how far you've gone in debating. Okay, and you're not going to learn handwriting skills. That's the thing on here. But like basically, the explanation is that when you're debating, you have to make sure that you're keeping like everything they're saying, like record record everything they're saying because. Logical arguments are really complicated, and like you're, we're gonna actually show a debate like next week. But 
they go rapid fire. And you gotta be able to like sort everything out in your mind and record it in like a way that'll help you, you know, re refute it when it comes to your turn. Because we're gonna go over the structure too, but you got your opening statement, but you also got a reputation period, right? So like you after after say I'm affirmative, which means like um, I like uh, do you guys know what are you guys confused at what affirmative means? Let's hope just like a random thing. But um so you got you got a resolution, right? That's like the topic which is being debated. And uh, like they'll be over questions like what ought to be the value, what uh, we ought to value the preservation of our natural resources over their development, right? That's a resolution. That's like a, a stance on a very controversial issue, and that's the resolution. One person's affirmative, one person's the negative, right? And obviously, affirmative supports that, negative refutes that. And what happens is the affirmative gives an opening statement, and after the affirmative gives an opening statement, there's a period of time where you can, you know, collect your thoughts, write things down, and then you go, the negative comes up and refutes that, as well as giving their opening statement, right? So, uh, also, there's some key skills that are trying to be facilitated in debate, okay? So, unlike, I mean, I don't know if you guys realize, but in high school, we don't really, like, actually use these skills a lot. We don't, we don't exercise communication skills, which is, you know, sitting there listening to a lecture. We don't exercise, like, research skills, which is we go on Wikipedia and look up, like, you know, one article and then just make a report about it, which is not really um, but in this, we're going to try and learn how to do research skills, writing skills, critical thinking skills, rhetoric skills, logic skills, persuasive skills, and basically how to argue without quarreling, as we discussed earlier. Okay. Um, any questions? Can you repeat those one more time? Okay. All this time? okay. So, research skills, mm -hmm. writing skills, mm -hmm. critical thinking skills. Mm -hmm. Rhetoric, mm -hmm. everyone knows what rhetoric is there. Um, logic skills, mm -hmm. persuasion, mm -hmm. and how to argue without quarreling. So, uh, anyone want to like define logic? Like, what do you think logic is? Anyone? Megan, what's logic? Logic is like connecting ideas. Exactly. It's the connection of ideas. So what we're going to exercise is how to point out logical flaws. See how like a lot of times we make, we make connect, people make connections, but they don't make, they don't make like any sense. Like there's a table here, therefore there must be a teacher in this class. Like people like make random, like they're not as plain as that, but a lot of times there are little flaws within logical paths that you can point out while you're arguing, right? And that works at attacking their argument and, you know, making it making your point more persuasive. Yeah. So yeah, that's about it. And um, we're gonna we're gonna do an exercise right now. So we're gonna divide the room right here. Alright, so should we actually get our desk to Uh I mean like you can just move over there and like move that desk right. There's only one desk between us. We can just there's a <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, is it done? So we're, is the we're, lecture we're over? Just, lecture's done. Okay. Yeah. Oh, we, we actually we can record the debate. Oh, okay. <laughs> so we're going to do a, right now we're going to do a drill. Um, 